Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. we got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Julian. Thank you for tuning in to Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. I'm Rich Walsh. I'll be joined by Paul Zeiss in just a matter of moments, and we're taking your phone calls tonight. 412-575-2600 is the number. You can always tweet me, at Richie Walsh, Paul at Paul Zeiss. We'll be talking about the Steelers. We can talk about Pitt basketball, a big game at Syracuse. Not impacted by the weather up there yet. Tomorrow night in the Carrier Dome. Uh, by the way, I'm trying to get Ray Petlin on as a, as a guest uh, as a guest host tonight with us, talking about the big weekend weather that's coming up. We're supposed to get anywhere from five to eight inches. We will have your weather forecast if you're worried on KDK TV right after the show. So make sure you make the switch after this show. But right now, we'll be talking about sports, maybe sprinkling a little bit of weather. If I can get a hold of Ray, have him come over here, calm everyone down, and say it's going to be okay, Paul. You worried? No. Me either. I remember... You know, a legendary story about Paul's ice. Last year, I was doing the show. It was a big storm. He was caught in the weather, and he made it in here in time. Yeah. That was, that was huge uh, by you. You know, li listen, I grew up in Pittsburgh. I mean, we, we, I've lived here my whole life. I'm almost 50. <laughs> Every year, we have snow, and we have, you know what I mean? I, I just I don't get the panic in the streets and all the other stuff. I never have understood it, to be honest. Here, here's the thing. Like, for instance, this thing where, okay, we're going to have snow. Uh, we're going to have a snowstorm, right? So people go to Giant Eagle and they get six months worth of food. <laughs> well, when was the last time we were snowed in for more than like 24 hours? Or, you know what I'm saying? Or like five hours. Exactly. It's, it's funny you bring up that story because my wife called me today. And you know my wife, right. Michelle. And she was like, they were out of bread, they were out of milk. Well, yeah, yeah. But that's my, point. my point is, yeah. you know, it's like, when was the last time we had a snow where you were stuck in the house for four days, you know, five days? And it's one thing, okay, if you're, you know, if you're an elderly person or this or that. But you know what, though? If you're an elderly person that can't get out, you can't get out usually anyway. So you probably have that stuff at home already. And when I go into the, you know, if you know, when I go into a giant ago or something before a big storm because I got to just grab something quick, and of, yeah. course I'm, uh, of course, I'm cursing everybody in there because I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> I'd love to go grocery shopping with well, you. Well, there's 90 people in line, and i got to pick up two things, you know, and I'm just like, oh, come on. My thing is, they're not old people that can't get around. They're all younger people or people that, it's like, you've lived in Pittsburgh your whole life. I can't, I, I remember in, what was it, 92, 91, Yeah, I think it was 93 in March. We had a blizzard, March. We had, blizzard yeah, March. Yeah. We had a blizzard where, I think it was 93. okay, and, it, and, it, and even then it was like two days and you were able to get out of your house, you know. Uh, there were some people in some of their most remote areas that couldn't get their cars out, but you could get out, you know, the whole nine yards. My thing is, why do we need to do this every single time? I get it, I understand it, it's, we need to be ready for weather and that kind of stuff, yeah. but... I just it, I, it drives me nuts that there's all this panic and fear in the streets when we've lived here our whole life. You know, I remember that storm in 93. I was in school at the time, and I, 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 I ran through the snow because we, we couldn't. Act, there was so much snow, you couldn't actually right, get cars right. out at the time. And I ran over to my buddy Sergio's house, and we, we stayed over there for the weekend. But that's really like the only time, even that blizzard uh, that snowstorm we had in February, I think it was in 2010. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember, we got like 22 inches. I was working. I was going back and forth from work. And, after, and the yeah, streets were clear saying. after a day, after maybe. After a day or something. So I mean, can you eat a whole loaf of bread in five hours? Because that's saying, essentially what it comes down to me. That's my point. My point is, you know, I, okay, if you want to stock it and get a couple of extra things or whatever to make sure you have it for two days. But yeah. after, I mean, what? I, I, I like going, I, this happened to me. There was a storm. I ran in there one day. Um, there was going to be this big storm. And I'm looking, and everybody's got their, like, you know, four carts worth of stuff, you know, jam-packed. I'm like, what are you feeding, an army uh, or what? Well, we'll continue our weather recap for the weekend and talk a little bit about maybe get out the maps and where the storm's going to hit. And we'll also talk yeah. about uh, the Steelers, the Pirates, maybe, if you want to call, and the Penguins. Um, right now we're in Arizona. They're winning 2-1 to one, if you're not watching that game. Also, pit basketball. I want to get into that discussion coming up a little bit later in Syracuse tomorrow for a big game against the Orange. All that and more coming up next on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters.